Hey guys, Video James, and today we're going to be looking at how to use Gigalith. Now, Gigalith is an absolute tanky Pokemon, but he is very bad in terms of speed, and that's kind of what makes him a very strong Pokemon. That a lot of tanks kind of have too much of a balance, that they have too much speed and too much defense to kind of make them either one, and it's kind of a balance of both. But with Gigalith having such low speed and high defenses, he actually is a very strong tank. So we see Gigalith pure rock type, meaning we are going to get that weakness to a lot of rock weaknesses such as water, grass, fighting, steel, and ground, which I still don't understand how ground beats rock. And then we see Gigalith's ability set is that we've got Sturdy, we've got Sandstream, and we've got Sand Force. So all good abilities, but Sandstream and Sand Force kind of go hand in hand that you kind of need Sandstream to activate Sand Force, which means a lot of the time you are going to be running something with like Sandstream or a Sandstorm activating move on it, as well as Gigalith, that a lot of the time either you're running Sturdy or you're choosing to set up with Sandstorm and use Sand Force on Gigalith yourself. And then we see his stats, we see we've got a really good decent tanker set, so we've got 85 in the HP, 135 in the attack, 130 in the defense, very kind of abysmal special attack, 80 special defense, and then the lowest possible speed imaginable that we've only got 25. So we see right away Gigalith, massive physical tank, that almost all of its moves are physical moves, and that it's absolutely tanky beyond all reason. And then we see moving on into Showdown, we see the first set is basically an Assault Vest Waller set, I couldn't think of a word to say, that we've got Sand Force on this set, which means you probably are going to want to run something like Hippowdon with Sandstream, kind of set up for this. And then we got like Smackdown, Earthquake, Iron Head, and Explosion, with the maxed out attack, HP, and the adamant nature. Now a lot of people would say, why not Heavy Slam instead of Iron Head? Because Gigalith isn't really that heavy. A lot of people think that Gigalith is one of the heavier Pokemon, but in reality, he's only 556 pounds. And that's not heavy in terms of Pokemon. I think the heaviest Pokemon is actually Cosmoem, and that thing's 2,204 pounds, which is really not going to do anything from a Gigalith. And then we've got Smackdown, just to bring all those flying types and levitating types down to the ground. And we've got the rock typing, so it gets that extra bonus of stab. We've got Earthquake just for that massive damage, and then Explosion just to take everything out if we know we're not going to survive. That if we're slower than everything, but we're still going to be able to take a hit, then we can just Explosion and kill everything before they get a chance to kill us. And then we see the next set is a kind of Trick Room based set, and a lot of Gigalith is going to be based on Trick Room because of its speed, that you are going to want to start running a lot of speed boosting with Gigalith. So this set is basically, you got the Smooth Rock to boost your Sandstorm, so it lasts more than 5 turns. You got the Sand Force ability on this, so that all of our moves get that priority damage. Well, not priority damage, but boosted damage. And then we just got Earthquake and Rock Slide for the damage, and once again, Explosion, just as the Kamikaze way. And then we see we've got Max Out HP, Max Out Special Defense, and then Adamant Nature once again. Now, I would run a Special Defense boosting nature on this, but it doesn't really help as much as the Attack boosting nature because you do still kind of need that buff in your attack to actually make you able to kill a lot of stuff. And this set actually runs really well with Musharna as a Trick Room set -upper. That in Trick Room, in single battles, as well as double battles, that Musharna would work really well because it's got the Trick Room and it's got another lower speed. And we've got the Telepathy ability. That we got Telepathy, we're not going to get hit by any of Gigalith's moves that damage the entire field. And we got Helping Hand just to give him the priority. That Helping Hand, we give Gigalith as much priority as we want, and it would just completely outspeed everything with every move it's got, if our Helping Hand actually works. And then we see the next set is just a Stealth Rock Explosion set, that there wasn't really much more to add to this set, just maxed out HP and attack with the Adamant Nature, a Stealth Rock Sturdy with the Rocky Helmet, and then just Explosion to finish it off. And once again... This set does kind of rely on Trick Room, just to kind of get the setup in play. That without Trick Room, you're going to end up only getting off Stealth Rock, and then you're just going to lose your chance to get Explosion off entirely, and Gigalith will have been virtually pointless. And then we see the final set for Gigalith is actually a Rest Sleep Talk set, which I admit doesn't really seem to fit a Gigalith, but it actually can work out really well. So we've got maxed out HP and Special Defense with the Adamant Nature, 
We've got a Chesto Berry with the Sturdy Ability, and we've just got Rest, Sleep, Talk, Earthquake, and Toxic. So it's basically just a basic Rest Toxic set. That we've got Rest just to heal our health back up if they manage to damage us down to all the way. Sleep Talk to kind of just get us that chance to use Earthquake or Toxic. Toxic to damage them over time while we're healing up, and then just Earthquake for the straight damage. That with us having three other moves that do almost nothing, Earthquake is a good idea to have just so we can have that damage boosting nature. Well, a move, I should have said. And that's basically it for how to use Gigalith. Like I said, he relies very heavily on Trick Room. That Trick Room is actually something that Gigalith is going to base a lot of his power on. And he's going to either need that or a Sand Force to be able to set up. But anyway, that's going to be it for how to use Gigalith. This was actually suggested by Ninetales137. So if any of you guys have Pokemon that you want to see, as always, go ahead and leave those comments down in the description. And if you like this video, go ahead and slap the like button as always, and I will see you guys later.